I think nobody was prepared for the emotional challenges uh, that come with the lockdown, you know? And uh, I think I was, I, was, I was caught in the epicenter of all this, uh, you know, challenge, especially being a foreign student, uh, f the feeling of, of being stuck in a foreign country, uh, being, I mean, it's total lockdown, all my friends are gone, and uh, it was devastating. It was devastating. But, I mean, at the midst of, of all that, uh, something very special happened, and that was my friends from church, uh, they would call and check up on me. And, uh, I mean, w part of my biggest challenge during lockdown was, especially, I'm a, I'm a very outgoing person, so not having people to talk to or, you know, uh, not having people to interact with was a big challenge, you know. And, and so having, having friends uh, organize Zoom calls and have this conversation, uh, and also, you know, have people call and ask, is there anything that you need that we can do for you? And I think that was very important, more important, especially uh, with, with, with uh, basic supplies such as food, you know. Uh, I, had, I had friends from Zillas call up and say, is there anything we can do for you? Uh, is, is, do you need anything? And so they will go and do some shopping and bring food at home. And I think that was a very big gesture for me, to have someone that cares for me. And, and, and considering the fact that as, as an international student, I am away from home, uh, it is such a warm feeling. And so at that moment, I mean, it was, it was such an in interesting Eureka moment, I would call it, uh, when I started realizing the importance of having a solid uh, support group and a solid and a strong community uh, that genuinely cares, you know. And, and having someone like Nina call up and say, can we, can we hang out or can we talk or can we, is there anything that you would like to discuss or anything? I mean, going back, I remember having this conversation with Inad where we were speaking and he was telling me his vision or his idea about uh, Zealous was to have, to establish a community, a society, you know, a community of people, a strong one. And I think for me, that's what I needed. I mean, that was very important for me and it's still very important for me. And it, it became, uh, you know, the cornerstone uh, of my survival, you know, of my sanity throughout uh, the lockdown. So that is my experience. Very, very, very strong. I, I have a very strong feeling about it. And I think when you talk about flourishing, I think that that experience of having a community that grows and stems out of a simple friendship to a very, uh, to, to a very familiar love and care uh, that is very giving, that is very supporting. I think it, it, it made a lot of difference for me being a part of Jailers community.